are you at the moment? We are okay, we are pleased, um, but we know that uh, what is in front of us is more important than what we've been uh, doing, and we have to improve, so it's the same routine, you know, new challenge tomorrow against a tough team, very good team, and home factor again, back in Molino, important game. There's no getting carried away then, there's no sort of sense of excitement, the fact you are kind of, you know, the, the, the more the big teams go out of the FA Cup, you're, you're in with a real chance there. The FA Cup, it's over for both teams playing tomorrow, it's over, we only have to think for the next next game, it's going to be on, on February, so it's over, we have to focus on, on our tasks tomorrow. I know you talked uh, on Saturday about not being so happy with some of the defensive aspects um, and perhaps in, in recent games as well. I think it's, what, eight goals conceded in your last three. Is that really what you're, you're focusing on going into this game? It's always, it's always our focus. Our defensive organisation is always the starting point for everything and we have to improve. We have to improve, we have to be more, more solid, more compact. New chance tomorrow to, to put things right. Have you pinpointed what's gone wrong, what, where they're going wrong? Uh, a lot of things, a lot of things and now it is sometimes it's not only when the action finishes where it starts and um, but we've been working on that so we, we expect to not repeat the same mistakes. West Ham just a point behind you in the league, results very similar recently, do you expect it to be a very tight game? Mm, always, always, we expect a very very tough game against a very good team like you said, at bad moments, but go out of them. And now both teams are ready to compete. I think we're going to face tomorrow um, a very good squad, a lot of talent, very good manager, quality players that really have to be really switch on and to compete. It looks like they will be able to call a Marko Anatovic again. They've resolved the, the, the whole transfer issue there and signing a new contract. Um, how much of a boost for them do you think that is, the fact they have now resolved that he is ready to play for them? I think for every every team, when all the players are available and ready to go, it's, it's easier to, to do it. So West Ham is a very, like I say, I repeat myself, it's quality players all over the pitch. And we have to focus on West Ham and knowing uh, that uh, what we want to do will require a lot of effort from us. Would he have been a, a big loss? To them, do you think? Like a, when when a manager doesn't have all the players, it's always always something's missing. How difficult can it be when you're in a, a transfer window like this and you've got perhaps unwanted attention on your players? It's maybe unsettling for them. How difficult as a manager can that be to, to deal with? Mm, simple, working, focus, knowing that what what is important is what you do on training sets and what you do on. During the competition, you have to abstract yourself from what's going around you, and I think we'll be able to do it as a group, sticking to our our uh, ethic of working hard, improving ourselves, staying focused. I've been doing okay. As far as I know, I don't think you've really had to deal with that in that window. You haven't sort of had any bids for players that have unsettled you at all. I'm focused on my work. Um, and looking at, at transfers, reports from Spain that Atletico Madrid could be ready to let, let you sign Johnny on a permanent deal. Is that something we could see happening? Is it something you're pushing for, you'd like to see happening? What I can say about Johnny is that we are very pleased and very happy with him. And I think him also are, is happy to be here with us, working hard, staying focused, knowing that other people have to take care of, of other business. Our job is to, to train and compete. So there's, there's been no sort of change in his situation as, as far as you're aware, it's not, not progressing to the potential. When I say me, myself and Johnny, we only have to be focused on what's happening inside of the pitch and our tasks. We are prepare ourselves for the game tomorrow. Don't get distracted by anything and by anyone. How pleased have you been with how he's settled, come here or, or on loan? Um, it, perhaps his, his English um, he's still working on but he's fitted right in and, and as you say when I, I, I spoke to him recently really loving life here yeah one of the things one of the aspects is that he's very happy here he has his family here so everything everything is, is okay but um, nothing has changed
Nothing has changed. I think, honestly, um, during this uh, period that so many speculations and rumors all over the over the place, you have to be focused and abstract yourself what's, what's going outside. Um, in terms of that speculation, uh, it, it, we're, we're hearing that Danny Bart could be very close to, to making a, a permanent move to Stoke. Can you tell us any more on that? Danny, Danny was our captain last season. Uh, he went to Middlesbrough. He's doing well. I cannot say anything else regarding that. That we 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 save ourselves very good memories of working together with ben, with Danny. Yeah, he's he's had a long association, hasn't he, with this club? Is it hard to see a play like that go? But I guess um, f from your perspective, it's nice to see him getting out there and playing some football. Of course, of course. Uh, I think um, when decisions are made. They are made with um, with the concern of every part and who's involved in the situation is happy and that's what happened in the beginning of the of the season when was the decision of Danny going out, out on loan since then uh, we are being focused here but at the same time pleased to know that Danny is, is playing and and he's well and he's happy and in terms of the work you're doing in in the transfer window I know you talked about how difficult it is to find players available and, and different to what you've got here at the moment if the deadline passes and, and you don't make any signings um do you fear just in terms of the size of your squad could could there be pressure there in terms of that if you don't make any more signings then we speak when the transfer in is over we speak about that but what we know is that we have a, a prepared squad for, to compete tomorrow this is all the players are available and healthy and and ready to go and how important is that game tomorrow night in terms of your league position? That that seventh spot is, you know, you're, you're so close. Is is that the aim for the rest of this season now? Is, is that seventh spot something you can really fight for? We have to compete. The, 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 the table and doesn't mean anything where you are now. It doesn't mean anything. You have to go all over again. And knowing that it's going to be a very tough challenge tomorrow. And we expect the support of our of, of Molino, our pack behind us, and the team is going to do everything that he can. Again, I repeat, home factor is very important, very, very important. And you've shown in the last couple of games that, that you know that, that you can't get down if, if you're behind, and, and anything with Wolves can happen right up until the last minute, can't it? That's our philosophy. Since the it's action after action, minute after minute, till, till the end, since the beginning till the end, every ball is important. Thank you. Uh, the club has made very good use of uh, having long-term loans for players before uh, permanent transfers are done. Is that something that you think is very beneficial? For for everybody, for everybody, for the player, for the club, for the club that the player belongs. It's a good a good option. Yes, it's, well, it's all, clearly it's worked for for several players. Uh, See, yeah, we have. It's, it's interesting which it works for the, the players seem to like it too. That's just what we do with that. Yeah, I think so. We we had that experience with uh, with some players last season. We have this season again some some situations identical, and things are working okay. Um, you have it's another period where the schedule is quite testing um, yeah. for the next few days. Uh, having the replay, I know that's next week's issue, but nevertheless, it adds to the schedule for the next two or three weeks. Do you? I know you focus on one game at a time, but how mindful do you have to be of you know, looking after players when an extra game is suddenly fitted in a short notice. We don't look ahead, we look be before. So what happened in the last game can decide and have, have changes or decisions to make to the next, for tomorrow, for example, from Shrewsbury to tomorrow. But we after tomorrow, we prepare ourselves again for the next one. You cannot anticipate the future because you don't know what can happen, what what uh, things that are not planned can happen, all these things. So the best way is to go game by game. It's already been referred to, I uh, think, about the, there's been a, an unusual number of goals scored against Wolves in recent games. Um, I, there may not be a, a common pattern to those, but I just wonder whether you notice over the course of the season that there has been a change in the pattern of the way teams play against you, because they obviously study what Wolves are doing just as you study them closely. Correct. Mm. But that doesn't give you a pattern, does it? 
Well, no, I mean, it's actually you've noticed it. Yeah, I think is uh, all the seasons we've been seeing different things. The way we score, the way we concede, is not a pattern. It's, it doesn't have to do exactly what 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 um, or other teams want to do to you. I don't see it this way. I don't see it this way. What I know. What I know and I'm sure of that we have to improve defensively. We are conceded too many goals, especially at home. We cannot concede at home. Thank you, Mike. Okay. Cameras up, please, guys.